Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. This is part two in my series on uh, the QC KBF demo days where I was able to test out some different kayaks uh, out on the water. Uh, this video is for the Hobie PA-14 and was able to demo both the 180 and the 360 drive. So uh, how I'm gonna do this, there's, there's three videos that I'm gonna kind of cobble together, but this is part two. And in each video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a walkthrough from a subject matter expert, followed by my live on the water feed uh, feedback. And then lastly, it'll be uh, my critique and review of the actual boat itself. So without further ado, here is my subject matter expert. All right, guys, we're with uh, John Ladd. He's going to go over some of the features. This is the PA-14-180. Um, take it away, John. Okay, so this is the 180 drive. Um, it's got your, your drive with the pull handle. It'll go forward or reverse. And I always keep a little paddle to scull sideways if I need to. But uh, starting at the front, you got a big hatch area that uh, will hold your rain gear, your lunch, anything you want to put in your front area. And this, this bucket will come out if you want even more space, but that's your front storage, okay? Down each side, you have three rod holders down each side, and you, you can slide three rods in. It comes with these, but I took one side out to hold your handles. Uh, you, got a, you got a middle storage hatch. It comes with tackle oh, boxes that. and yeah. trays. And that, that, tray, that tray divider's in there yeah, you just, you just, yeah, that comes stock with it. You slide your your 30, was it 3700, 3600s in. Yeah. Okay, it comes with that. You can also purchase a drop-in tray that you take this out and it's just a big square box you drop in there with a handle on it. So you put bigger, bigger loose stuff in it, whatever you need. Packs of worms. Uh, the seat's fully adjustable. It, it'll go back. Uh, to go forward this part the the seat part will raise or lower and this is this is uh two levels this is the high position that's the low position if you're out in the middle of the lake and you want to be able to really uh, cover some ground uh it's got your handle to pull for your skeg the skeg is more like if you're going out across the lake and you want to hold a steady course you pull you put the skeg in rudder cables over there drops the rudder for, for, look. For someone who doesn't know what is a skeg, like it's a, it's me, a I, I, have, I have no okay, idea the what it is. skeg is a drop down fin that's stable. It drops under the boat uh -huh. and it holds you on a steady course. Okay. But yeah, skeg's what they like have on sailboats, hold them okay. steady. Makes you a little bit more stable and a little bit more steady. Rudder is a fin that moves back and forth, go left or right with it. These are your handles to guide. You got two little storage pouches on the side. I put pliers, scissors, the, anything small in that. Uh, you got paddle holders right here. It comes with a, it comes with a full-size paddle that comes apart. So that's both ends of the paddle. In case you, for some reason you get out there and lose your drive or something goes wrong, you can paddle it. Uh, also, I usually keep one out and put the other one up under. I put it up under the front storage. Uh, the one of the end of the paddle has a handle, a T-handle, so like a regular kayak paddle or a canoe paddle. Uh, big storage in the back. Uh, a lot of people use a milk crate. They use a uh, black pack or like my other kayak. It has a rack system on it where you can store your tackle and put your rods. Uh, it's got holes on either side right here to hold. Uh, there, you can put a rod in there, but they make two holders that go in there to hold two rods. And uh, then there's a middle hatch in the back, two of them actually, to get if you're rigging it with depth finders or whatever you need to rig, uh, your batteries or whatever, it gives you room to get in there and work if you need to. And uh, it's super stable. Uh, this one goes front and back, but the 360 goes left and right any direction. Is there is there any, aside from the drive itself, is there any difference in the boats themselves? The boat is the same boat. The, the only difference in these boats is the drive hole. Uh, okay. This one will accept the old style drive that only goes in forward or the 180. The new 360 drive only accepts the new th the 360. So otherwise the boat itself is all the same uh, features. It's all the same dimensions. 
Um, can you show how, how you adjust it? You, this you don't adjust the seat if you don't can't reach the pedals. You you adjust the, the pedals. The correct? pedals, right, right. So what you do is uh, on this th 180, these these mash. You can pinch these and go forward or backwards depending on your how long your legs are. Okay. So it'll accommodate anything from a six foot five man to a five foot two woman. You know, that's made to fully adjust. So uh, and. Uh, that's one of the main things when you get in it make sure your feet feel comfortable and you're not like over stretching you just want it to be a natural position where you're just comfortable can you can you show over here the difference between the 180 drive and the 360 drive so this is a new 360 like i said it's got the same features so the red arrow is the direction you're going to be going. It's got a handle here. You turn the handle and you can turn it all the way around and then this adjusts it left to right. But this is whatever direction you want to go, you turn the handle. Okay. And when you're when you're out on the water, typically, I mean, and you're just covering water, do you use the the rudder in the back more or do you use this more or um I, I do both. If I'm getting in between docks and uh Somebody's gonna have to go get my pot. It just floated oh. off. Uh, if I'm in between docks uh, and get up in tight places, using this 360 will get you, in, you know, you can move around anywhere you want to. Um, other brands, you got forward and reverse, you basically put it in reverse and have to back your way out. This one, you could spin it on a dime if you want to. And it's got little finger triggers to adjust the, uh, the pedals on it, how far the pedals go. I think this one's a little bit more ergonomic. Uh, to be a little bit more comfortable and it kind of comes out a little bit different but uh, both of them are great kayaks and uh, I just talked to the dealership this one is a it's at $46.99 they've got one on the uh, floor right now and this one's more this one's about 55 now but I was going to show you this other feature too this is a stand assist bar let me unhook it and you can grab a hold of it, pull up, stand and fish, lean against it. And that's and that, that's the good thing about the the Hobie stuff is like you can pretty much get any aftermarket stuff. I mean, it's yeah. and this is this is an aftermarket Hobie. That, that's made by Hobie. No, this is yeah. Hobie. Yeah, this is a Hobie. Hobie. So now that you got this, look at that. Stand that's nifty. To fish, stand to cast. So when, when you're out, do you, do you leave that up most of the time? Like it, I haven't, but you can. I, I don't necess necessarily do that. Now, if I'm standing and fishing for a, you know, back in the back of a pocket or something, yeah, I'd probably stand up and just lean against it and fish. Super stable with this up. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm going to go, uh, I don't get my boat. Anyway, there's a ton of good accessories for the Hobie that you can get. They even make a sail that you can mount on this thing and turn it into a sailboat and you went over you, you gave the uh the prices if where where would you recommend that people buy it if, if they're locally where would you recommend people the great go? outdoor provision company in charlotte on park road is our local dealer here uh, chris and i are both on their hobie team um, and uh, the guy sam robertson is probably the best guy i know to work on kayaks don't you think chris absolutely and uh, i highly recommend them to you go over there, tell them Chris or myself sent you. Um, Rock Outdoors and High Rock sells them. But uh, the other thing is, Outdoor Pavilion Company has five locations throughout North Carolina and Virginia. So they're as far away as Charlottesville, Virginia. They have stores in Raleigh, down at the beach in Wilmington. So uh, they, they've got the Carolina and Virginia area pretty covered. But they're uh, great to deal with. These are super boats. Uh, to me, the quality is second to none, and Hobie has a whole catalog full of accessories you can, you can put on them. You can customize it any way you want to. The rack system here is uh, laid back racks. They're made up on Baden Lake and here in Albemarle, and uh, they, um, they, they've got a, a new crate out. This is the bag. You can hold pretty much all the tackle you need for a day's fishing in the bag and uh, it holds five rods they have models that hold six rods also but say uh, say you're going up under a bridge or a low hanging tree you just flip the handle oh look at that lay your rods back. that's so that's impressive yeah and 
so uh, they're they're great. They're it's a local company, and each one of these are made. All right, guys, we are demoing the Hobie Pro Angler 14 with the 360 drive. And uh, let's see what we got here. This has got that, it, they don't have a, uh, uh, it's not a, like a bicycle pedal. This is like a forward and backwards. Um, it's a very interesting layout. Let me kind of show you how they, uh, how you drive this thing. Well, you get to pedaling like this, and then for your steering knob, this one does your rudder. And so this is what, what will turn you, you know, left and right. Now we're gonna go right. But then, You've got this thing, this 360, and that actually twists your propulsion. You see that red arrow? When you twist it, it shows you how to go. That's how you go to reverse. You would flip this thing all the way to the back and then pedal just normal, like you normally would, pedaling forward. And then now you, we're going backwards. And you can actually turn it to the side like that and actually look at it we're going like going side to side now that's wild that's really wild look at that yeah so you you can really like sit in one spot and do like a yeah do a 360. huh that's crazy. Um, as we're going, uh, again, it, it obviously the turning radius on this thing is phenomenal. The speed is good. Let's see how fast we get going on this thing. That's over four, pretty. That's definitely over four. I don't have a any way to measure. That's uh, that's nice. Let's go down here. Oh, and I just noticed that you got rudder control on both sides. You only get the 360 on the one side, but you've got rudder control on both sides. Let's stand up and see what it's like. <sighs> All right, stability wise, you couldn't flip this thing if you wanted to. I mean, you legitimately, there's no flipping this thing. No, <laughs> you, could, you couldn't flip this thing if you wanted to. An old uh, hook set was with Ryan was telling me that the the seat is unmatched. Seat's good. Um, it is very lazy boy esque. <laughs> uh, it is very lazy boy esque. Uh, I mean, it's it's comfortable. It's, it's a comfortable seat. Um, yeah, this is nice. All right, guys, we are in the Hobie Pro Angler 14 with the 180 Mirage Drive. This boat seems pretty much identical to the 360. The drive is the only difference. Um, as far as handling and everything, it handles the same way. Um, again, it's just like one rudder that operates the rudder on the back. Speed is good, handling is good. As far as stability is concerned, 
yeah you're not you're not falling out of this thing this thing's not going over um let me kind of show you how the drive operates um it's different than that crazy contraption of the uh the 360 um it's got two little handles here the one you pull forward to go reverse and then the one you pull forward to go forward so right now we're in the the forward position we can pull this and then now we are in reverse and we want to go back forward and we're not forward now now we're in forward speed is good uh, as stated the handling is good um sorry about the gunshots there where it's right next to a uh a shooting range where we're at doing this doing this event um yeah this is a nice boat cool was that got to try out both the 180 and the 360 drive and uh that's a really cool boat now here are my unbiased reviews of the hobie pro angler 14 i'm gonna give you a list of three pros and three cons of the boat just to help you make a informed decision if you uh decide to pull trigger on one of these fishing kayaks all right number one the pro stability that boat is incredibly stable it is the most stable platform on the market eh, easily uh it was it's insane how stable that boat is i mean you could get up you can walk up and down every inch of it and never have any concerns about it tipping or flipping or or anything in fact i there was a while i was getting in the boat i didn't get a video of it but i was sitting in the boat like getting my you know adjusting my pedals and stuff and chris actually got on the back and was like walking around on the back i didn't even notice i mean he we had, we had two human beings on the boat and i didn't even notice that he had gotten on the boat and was walking around on it and then got off just to show the uh, the stability of it so if stability is is what you're looking for that you'll be hard pressed to find a boat more stable than the hobie pro angler 14 so that's number one stability number two and that is accessories and servicing um, Hobie is a you know nationwide brand. Every just about every uh, paddle shop has Hobie and Hobie accessories. And the good is that you can get anything you want accessory wise. They make it. They make it. There's a ton of accessories so you can mod out and customize your boat in any way that you see fit. On top of that, so many people have Hobies and they're so ubiquitous that. You can always find parts for them. The parts are, e are easy to find. Uh, there's every shop will be able to service your Hobie if you have a problem with your drive or your boat or anything. So just to have the availability of, of all the, uh, the servicing and the accessory features that Hobie has to offer is a great pro. That's number two. Number three, and that is the drive itself. The drive itself is really, really, really cool. Um, I really like, unlike some of the other drives, like for instance, like in the, uh, unlike the uh, native Propel drive that I like so much, I do like the Propel drive of the native. However, it's not weedless. The Hobie is weedless. And that's, you are not really gonna find a drive anywhere else that's like a bicycle pedal style that is weedless. It also has, incredible maneuverability especially on that 360 i mean again you can put that boat and put it in any place that you want to with just a couple turns of the knob uh, i mean you can literally turn the thing in a zero radius in one spot and that you're just not going to get that amount of maneuverability on any other drive so it's it is incredible how maneuverable that drive is and then the fact that it's weedless too is just, it's awesome. So those are the three things that I really, really liked about the Pro Angler. Now, the flip side of the coin, the cons. 
let me give you the things that I did not like. Number one, price. I mean, that's the thing. If you get a Cadillac, you're gonna have to pay Cadillac prices because it's that is a very pricey boat. Now, that's not to say it's not worth it. I'm just saying it's it's very pricey and it's it, it's gonna be out of a lot of people's price range uh, just because it's, it's definitely one of the higher price points uh, for for boats. So keep that in mind. Uh, the sticker price is it's 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 pretty uh, pricey. So that's number one the cons the price two now this may be just because i'm stupid <laughs> i'm just being honest with you but that 360 drive i thought it was incredibly complicated now i'm sure everybody will laugh and chuckle and make fun of me for this but i thought it was pretty i felt like i was trying to fly a helicopter i mean just because there's so many knobs there's the two knobs and the the arrows are pointing everywhere and i was trying to figure out i'm sure with time and practice it will become second nature to you however i, I i'm not gonna say i struggled but i it, it seemed unnecessarily complicated for, to me now that's okay that's probably just a personal thing it just seemed unnecessarily complicated uh yes you can do amazing things with it at the same time uh do i need to do those amazing things i just i'm just trying to fish so i that was me i thought it was kind of complicated to use that that 360 drive and number three con and that is the size that is a massive but it's a barge i mean it is a huge huge boat but again that's what gives it the stability that it has that's what gives you all the storage and the accessories that you that it has but it's just a massive boat um it is huge it is incredibly heavy it is incredibly cumbersome if you are a person that has like storage issues uh and your, your garage isn't that big well that might not be the boat because it it takes up a lot of space also the boats that i have i like just throwing them in the back of the truck and driving down the road and then pulling them out and putting them in the water you i'm not saying you can't do that with the, the hobie pa but it's going to be incredibly difficult i mean it's basically trailering it, it in order to save your lumbar you're gonna have to get a, a trailer just because it's it's just too unwieldy to uh to, to just throw in the back of the truck uh, for, for most normal human beings. I mean, if you're Hulkamania, I imagine you could throw it in there just fine, but it's it's a big boat. And so that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind. It is really, really big and really, really heavy. So that is my assessment of the boat, the pros and the cons. I mean, it's, it's a great, it, it is absolutely a great boat. Every boat that I demoed was a great boat. Um, but it's this I said it in the other video There's a reason that they have multiple different kind of cars. You have cars and trucks and SUVs and vans and hybrids and gas and diesel It all depends on what you need out of a car. The same thing applies to the kayak It all depends on what do you actually want the kayak to do so Take everything that I said with a grain of salt do your research go to your uh, local paddle shop and demo every boat that piques your interest before you pull the trigger because it is a huge investment to get in one of these boats and it would suck to spend a lot of money and not get what you actually wanted. So be sure to demo your boats. Don't just take my word for it. Demo the boat yourself. Um, I'm just giving you a little bit of uh, something to chew on. So, uh, but that's what, that's what you can do. Um, and anyways, hopefully this video will help you make an informed decision on your kayak purchase as always if you'd like to know anything about my channel you can look down in the description box while you're there be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel the channel it is updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures so i'll be seeing you next week this is josh and this is abide fishing